What is going on everyone? So in this week's video, we're gonna take a look at these. So these are gloves from the Heat Company. And you might be asking yourself, why should I listen to the opinion from this guy? Cause he lives in San Diego where it's always 72 degrees. He doesn't even go to areas that have truly cold weather. So what's the value of his opinion? Well, here's the thing. I was born and raised here in San Diego. It's always nice and warm here. So when it comes to cold temperature, I am a complete wuss. So I need to be completely comfortable. I need to make sure my hands are warm, my feet are warm, everything's good so I can concentrate on doing what I need to do when I'm out there on the photo trips. And uh, before going on my winter trip, I asked around on Twitter as far as opinions on some good gloves that allow me to work with a large format camera, as well as stay warm and be good with hiking and, and everything along those lines. And several people suggested uh, this company, Heat Company, and so they have a lot of different options. I uh, went to the website, did some research, and ended up buying these at B&H. Um, been really, really happy with them. And as a matter of full disclosure, uh, I have zero affiliation whatsoever with the heat company. They don't know I'm doing this video. Um, and I just like their product. So hopefully that's good enough reason here. But uh, uh, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the gloves and tell you how they worked on the trip and some of the feedback I have as far as their design and stuff along those lines. So let's take a look at the gloves from the heat company. So one of the things that attracted me to the design from the heat company is that it's a very modular approach. There is lots of different choices you can make depending on how you're gonna use them. Uh, for me, one of the main things is I wanted to have maximum dexterity so that I can work with all the intricate stuff that a large form camera needs as far as, you know, threading in a cable release, uh, cocking the shutter, uh, pulling dark slides, all kinds of stuff along those lines that even with a relatively thin pair of gloves I've used in the past, I had to take the gloves off in order to do that. And then if I wanted to have some really warm gloves on, you know, I definitely wouldn't be able to do any of that. So, um, so there's lots of different choices. I definitely recommend going to their website, which I'll have listed down below, and you can look at all the different options there. Um, but I went with uh, liners, the Merino wool liners. Uh, they're very thin, which is nice. It allows me to do all the stuff I need to do with a large format camera work, all the various controls. Um, so I've been very, very happy with them. Uh, so they're made of merino wool. There is a pocket on the back of each one where I can put uh, heat warmers in there, heat packs in there. Uh, for my trip, I didn't need to do that, though I did put them in the shell, which I'll show you next. Uh, they do have these little bits right here, which allows you to use a touch screen on a cell phone. Um, that works out really well. The only thing that's a little weird is that this finger right here has a tendency to kind of spin around a little bit, not the finger, but the, the glove. So if I were to kind of straighten them out like that, everything's nice and straight, and then just by using the glove, working around, doing whatever you're gonna do, see it kind of spins back around there. Um, so I did find myself constantly kind of readjusting that in order to straighten out if I was gonna use a phone. So it'd be nice if there was something a little different in the design that allowed that to stay fine. The thumb and then this finger right here, those ones stayed the same. Um, but it's just that one right there. Those ones have a tendency to move a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're different sizes for the gloves. Um, this one, these ones here, I have the size 10 to 11, and there's a really good thing on their website that shows you how to measure your hand and figure out just the right size. But these are used in conjunction with uh, the shell. So uh, this is the second component here. And uh, this is kind of the, the most basic of their shells. There's some that are full leather, but this one is um, kind of more of a, I'm not sure exactly what kind of material it is, but more of a synthetic material there and then a leather there. And so those are gonna go right on over the top, the liners. And a couple things here. So we do have some adjustments here so you can Tighten those down there around your jacket and then there's Velcro so that you can kind of take care of the extra bit there. And over here as well, you can tighten that down. So these are really easy to use even when you have the gloves on, which is quite nice. Um, so a couple things going on here. Uh, first of all, on the back of the glove, 
Um, this is where you have access to put the, uh, the chemical heat warmers in there. And uh, I, that's what I used when I was on the trip. And it didn't take long to kind of heat up the whole glove. And that worked out really, really well. So when I was done kind of working with the intricacies of the camera, I can then uh, get my hands back in the gloves and kind of warm up the fingers. These are gonna pull back here and there's a magnet closure on the back. And so that's how you get your fingers out. And then we can free up the thumbs as well. There's a little area right here, a little Velcro tab. And then these also have magnets. And so you can open up the gloves pretty fast and get to them. Um, I was able to do everything I needed to do with a large format camera just like this. So uh, I can leave the shell on. I had all the dexterity I need with the uh, fingers in order to do everything I needed to do. And uh, my hands actually stayed quite warm just like this. Uh, but as soon as I was done working with the camera, then you can just kind of flip them back around like this and close them back up. There are pulls on the zippers so you can reach them just like that. And then tuck the thumbs back in there like that. So I was very, very happy with them. I could use my trekking poles and everything just like this. Um, the only thing is on here, so there is Velcro, Velcro right there, Velcro right there. And sometimes this Velcro has the tendency to catch on the, uh, the merino wool liner there. So it kind of pulls a little bit. So you have to be kind of mindful about how you open that up and get your thumb out of there. Uh, the other thing too, so if you have uh, heat packs in this compartment right back here, uh, it adds a little bit extra bulk to here. So you see, I can clench my, uh, my fists very easily right here, and then these stay in place. But when you have a heat pack in here, uh, it adds a little more rigidity. So these have a tendency to kind of pop open a little bit more if you have the heat pack in them. Um, so I did find myself uh, having to kind of pop these guys back every now and then when I was doing that. It would be nice if there was like a secondary latch of some sort where if you want something a little stronger than that magnet, you can secure that, whether that be Velcro or a snap or something else along those lines. But overall, I was really, really happy with them. Just the only thing is that this finger kept spinning around and sometimes the Velcro right here would kind of get snagged on the glove there a little bit. But I was able to work with a large format camera. I was able to keep my fingers nice and warm. So if any of you guys out there are, you know, working with a large format camera, or even a SLR or anything where you're working with fine controls, these will get the job done really, really well. I definitely recommend checking out their website. They have a sizing guide on there and then looking at all the various options because these work great for me, but maybe for what you're doing, you'll find some other combinations that work really well for you. These are not cheap. These are a couple hundred dollars. Um, I'll have a link down below to them and B&H so you can check them out. But, I want to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you around next week. <laughs>